All right, what's going on, everybody? Um, I've seen a bunch of or questions asking for tutorials on how to incorporate Genesis into their Kodi library, and there are a bunch out there, but it kind of differs from system to system depending on what you're using. So I'm just going to kind of quickly run through how to do it on a Mac, a Windows, and an Android device. Um, so I'm going to get started with Mac, and the first thing we need to do on every system is we want to go to system and settings and then we go to appearance and from here we go to file list so you should see something in here called show hidden files and directories we want to make sure that that's highlighted so once it is just kinda of click out of here I will say that it's probably easiest doing this under the default Kodi theme um, after we've done that though we want to go to we want to add some seed content uh, into the Genesis library, so we'll go to videos, add-ons, choose Genesis, we'll do movies first, I do most popular usually. Um, so I've add, already added a couple here, um, but basically what you do is you find the movie that you want to add to your library. Um, so in this case, I mean Ant-Man isn't even in theaters, but we hit C bring up the context menu that's going to be different if if you're on a tablet you'll probably long press or if you're using a fire TV for example you're gonna press the menu button on there and we want to go down to add to library after this has popped up so you should see a notification in the bottom right that it's been done so we can back out of here and we want to do the same thing for TV shows so most popular uh, we'll do Game of Thrones, hit C, add to library. All right, so now we go back to the main screen. So now we want to add add this into our library. So from here we'll go to, from videos we'll go to files. Uh, you'll want to come to this screen and go to add videos. We'll click browse. And this is kind of where it's going to get different for every device. Uh, Mac and Mac and Windows, I found both have a home folder, uh, but it kind of accesses different parts of the home folder. I mean, Mac's going to be different. So from for the Mac, we click home folder, and we're going to go down to library. And from library, we want to do application support. And from here, we want to find Kodi. And this is basically where we want to get to on every install. So we want to find the user data folder. So inside user data, we go to add on data, plugin video.genesis. And now you should see movies or TV shows in here. If you don't see these, then chances are you haven't added one to your Genesis library. So we're going to do movies first. So we'll go OK. So these are the ones I've added to my library. We click OK. Um, I typically rename this to Genesis Movies just for reference sake click OK and we want to set the content to movies so from here we just click OK click yes and it should start adding so as you'll see in the top right so now we do the same thing for TV shows Home folder, find library on a Mac, application support, and from here we're going to go to Kodi, and again, use data, add on data, plug in video genesis, and this time we do TV shows, click OK. Like I say, I usually rename this. And this time we do TV shows. Hit OK. Click Yes again. And now you should see, if you don't see, hadn't seen the movies or TV shows menu to begin with, they should be there now. So in movies, we now see the three movies that I've kind of added to the Genesis library. So the nice thing about this is it kind of just eliminates a little more of the clicking. So if we click that, it'll give us a box to 
pull up the sources. Um, there are options in Genesis that you can use to find the best available source, but oftentimes for me that doesn't work very well. So that's that's how to do it on a Mac. Uh, I'm just going to quickly move over to BlueStacks, which unfortunately is the only way I can show you on an Android. So here's BlueStacks. So I, it's not showing the Kodi background, which is unfortunate, so you have to bear with me. But you want to do the same thing. You'll have to go to System, Settings, um, Appearance, File List. You can't see it, but it is selected already. Show hidden files on directories. And then from there, basically just do the same thing. Um, you want to add so movie. I'm just going to do Movies. So we want to bring up the Context menu. Add to library, and as you see, it's added to library. So now we need to add these into our Kodi library. So we go to files, and I have to back out of this. So we go files, and we want to add videos. We click Browse, and the difference here now is we don't see a home folder option on, on an Android, or on my Fire TV anyways. So this time we have to click External Storage, and then Android, and then Data, and then we want to do org.xbmc.cody. We got Files, Cody, and as you can see we're back to where we need to be. There's the User Data folder add on data plugin.video.genesis so I've only done movies so I'll click movies and there's our two movies so we just click OK um, I'm not going to rename it I usually do I'll just click OK and there's movies and we click OK we click yes and as you can see hopefully now our movies have showed up in here so that's Mac and Android. Uh, up next, I'll do Windows. All right, guys, next up is Windows, which is probably the easiest of them all. Um, as, as you mentioned, it's the same kind of process. So we'll start with going to System Settings. And once inside there, we got to go up to Appearance. And from Appearance, we go down to File Lists and we want to make sure that show hidden files and directories is selected which it is we can back out of here and now we want to go to videos and add-ons to add our seed content choose Genesis uh, movies I usually use most popular and I'm just gonna add one here like I say, some of these aren't even in theaters, but bring up the context menu, go to add to library. As you'll see, it showed up in the bottom right. Now we'll do the same for TV shows. To bring up the context menu, all you gotta do is press C if you have a keyboard. Um, there's usually a menu button on some remotes. So we added that to the library. Now we back out of here. Now we just need to add it to Kodi Library. So we'll go to Videos, Files, and we need to back out. Hit Files, and go to Add Videos. And then we want to click Browse. And as you'll see, there's Home Folder, but the nice thing about it is it takes us right to the User Data Folder. So we do Add on Data again. Plug in Video Genesis, and you should see Movies TV Shows. We'll do Movies first. Click OK. As mentioned, I always rename this just so I don't confuse, get, get, get it confused with uh, my actual home library. Click OK. We want to set the content to Movies in this case. 
and we'll click OK again. Click Yes. And then let's basically do the same thing for TV shows. Home folder, user data, add on data, plugin video genesis. We'll do TV shows, click OK, uh, rename it if you want, of course. Done, click OK, set the content to TV shows, and click OK and yes. And that that's basically it for all three devices. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the toughest part is just finding the directory. So as you can see here now, it's uh, showing up in our movies Cody library. Um, I'll try. I don't know why I'm trying to open this, but obviously it's not out yet. So, but that's basically it. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Um, this is the TV shows. As you see, if you open it, it will pop up all the sources, as I mentioned in, in I think it was the Mac or Android. You can set the Genesis add-on to autoplay, but I haven't had great success with that.